Another feature inside Optimize Press is now the ability to put a delayed timer inside the overlay optimizer child element. So if I go into this element here and I open it up, so this is the overlay optimizer we've added in the page. And let's say we've got the video here, you can see the video above, and below it we have this button, this call to action. Now let's say this video was 60 seconds long and you wanted to delay the button to appear maybe towards the end of the video. So you could go into the element here. What I've done there is I clicked on the little cogwheel icon. So I'm hovering over the element, clicking on the little cogwheel there. This brings up a little settings menu. And inside here we're typing the seconds, the time when we wanted this element to appear. So for the sake of this video, I'll put in 10 seconds. And I'll click on update and we'll update that page. Then we'll save and close it. If I just refresh this page again, and I go down here and I click on this um, element here, the buttons, so it's opened up the overlay optimizer, and you'll see there's no button there. Now what should happen is after 10 seconds, the button will appear just below this video as though it was a call to action. You can see there, it pops up on the screen, and the user can then click on it and make a call to action. That'll work for any element inside the overlay optimizer.